Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. Today we are having a very short video on why DNA double helix is called as anti-parallel. What does it actually mean? This is the double stranded DNA helix. As you can see, the first strand, the upward position is denoted as 5 prime, whereas in the second strand, the upward position is denoted as 3 prime. The most important point is the 5 prime and 3 prime refers to the carbon number on the pentose sugar to which phosphate or hydroxyl group is attached. Let me make it more clear. This strand, as you can see, the first strand runs in 5 prime, 3 prime direction, whereas the second strand runs in 3 prime, 5 prime direction. That is why it is called as anti parallel, not parallel. Now let us see the 5 prime and 3 prime position of pentose sugar within a nucleotide. So this is a nucleotide. As you can see, it is made up of a phosphate, a sugar and nitrogenous base. In the pentose sugar, the third position is having an OH. That is the 3 prime end. This is 3 prime with OH. And the fifth position where phosphate is attached. So this is actually the 3 prime and 5 prime end. Let's make it more clear. In the first strand, at the upward end, there is 5 prime phosphate. At the fifth position of the pentose sugar, there is phosphate. Whereas in the other end of the same strand, the third position is with hydroxyl group or OH group. So that this strand runs in 5 prime, 3 prime direction. In the second strand, as you can see, the upward end is having 3 prime OH group, whereas the bottom end is having the 5 prime phosphate group, making it anti parallel. One strand runs in 5 prime, 3 prime direction, whereas the second strand runs in 3 prime, 5 prime direction. This anti parallel arrangement of DNA strands is comparatively more stable than the parallel arrangement and also it helps in complementary base pairing or perfect fit of bases within this DNA molecule. Second point, this orientation, this anti-parallel nature is very important in DNA replication to happen because this provides easy access of different enzymes and formation of replication bubble and further extension and elongation of DNA strands. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.